Hi there everybody, welcome to our Hatha Yoga uh, December routine. Here we're going to have three exercises from our routine that we're running all the way through December. Um, if you've been joining me all the way through 2020, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the exercises and been checking out some of the other routines as well that we have. Um, what we're going to be working through today is going to go into one uh, really nice kind of lower back kind of inner thigh stretch. Um, that actually does start to get a little bit of a stretch all the way up one side of the body as well. Um, we're going to go through and do a little bit of core work and um, we'll see where else we go from there. So, all we need to do for now, again there's always a little bit of space around you and that's it. So I might want to lose my head when I stand up here but it doesn't matter, we're going to be coming down very soon. So take your feet out nice and wide and turn the toes inwards. Reach your arms up high and fold forwards. And you should be able to see me all again there. So, we're folded forwards, and as daft as this sounds, make sure that your hips are in between the feet. Temptation is to move body weight forwards and backwards whilst you do this. Make sure the hips are sat bang in the middle. Your toes are turned inwards, and they're giving you a really good solid position. Hands placed firmly on the floor. We're going to take your right hand, hold on to the left leg with it. Doesn't matter how far you can get down that leg, but let's go for it. So right hand, left leg. Left hand comes away from the floor now, place it into the lower back. And we're gonna rotate the body. So this starts to mobilize that spine. A little bit of something into the back as well. So you can hold these poses as you know for a little bit longer. But from here, we're going to take that left hand, reach it over the head. We're still rotating, you're still trying to look over towards that left side. taking your head, your chest a little bit lower. Remember the hips are still between the legs. Rather than pushing back or forwards. And you can still use this hand that's on the leg just to increase the rotation. And we're going to leave it right there for a moment. But obviously hold on to any of those poses as long as you feel like you wish to. Heel and toe the feet together to bring yourself down a bit. Soften at the knees. Push yourself up. And then we're going to come down to seated for our second pose. So, we're going to hug the feet, hug the legs, and bring them just off the floor. So I've got to be honest, this one hasn't gone down as the most favourite move that we've worked through in December, but uh, it's a really good one. It's really strong on the hips and the abs, so I wanted to bring it to you guys and you can, you can use it as much as, as much as you wish. So, Hold on to the ankles or the feet if we can. And we're going to extend the legs. Keep those legs out nice and straight. Still stay strong and proud through the chest. And then as soon as you feel confident to, release the hands from the feet, the legs. And we're reaching fingertips as far away in front of you as you can. So you're going to hold this for as long as you can. When you feel like you're really starting to struggle, don't put the feet down, just hug them. Hug the legs. And as soon as you're ready to go again, hold back down the legs. Arms, legs up. Hands release. And we're just holding that, that's all that we're doing. Might as well put the bend in the legs again. And bring the feet back down. So again, repeat that as often as you feel like you you can, you want to. Um, like I said, not the most favourite one that's been in the class this month, but a really, really good exercise to try and strengthen up through the core and through the hips as well. So, our final one I'm going to show you for, for 2020. Feet turned out ever so slightly. And we're going to take our hands, reach down towards the floor. Hands up high first, down towards the floor. Soften at the knees and let the bum sink. So, 
What's happened now? We've taken the knees out to the side. They're staying out over the ankles and the toes. I'm going to bring the hands into a prayer in front of the chest. Use your elbows to push into the inner thigh, into the knee. And you're going to be getting those knees out a little bit wider. And we're just going to hold that. A little bit more popular, this one. With my guys, anyway. So we want to try and stay up as tall as possible here. Again, a temptation to fold forward and collapse is normally quite high. If you can, maybe work the elbows a little bit higher. Obviously, the lower down the leg that they go, the easier it is. But if you can keep them into the knee, then you're doing fantastic. And when you're ready, you can release. Hands come down to the floor. Push yourself up through the legs. Soft knees, rolling yourself up to standing. And there you have three exercises for you again to work through um, the Christmas period with. Thank you very much as always guys for following me through this year and I'll be back next month in 2021 with a few new yoga exercises for you. Thanks a lot and I shall see you next year. Bye.